Welcome back everybody to Raya's tie-dye. So, congratulations Gwen Wei. I've said this a couple times, but we're doing your tank dress. I hope you're watching. I hope you're excited. We're just gonna kinda do a really cool, I guess it's technically like a sun ray, but definitely different. Definitely different. So, that sun ray dress that I did a while ago, it's not gonna look like that. It's gonna be a lot different. So, it's gonna be super awesome and I'm excited to do it. I did not buy one in my size because I probably won't wear it and it'll probably go on my Etsy shop. So, if you haven't checked out my Etsy yet, go ahead and check that out. Um, there will be some cross body bags going on there soon. I have a drawstring bag that looks super awesome because I used my favorite color, which was Lime Pop. Cross body bag one. Cross body bag two. So they're just little tiny cute bags, but you can fit your phone in there and like your cards and your cash and your mask if you still have to wear it, which I'm sure you do, because everybody does. So check those out. When I get them on there, they will be available for purchase. Let's do that tank dress because I'm super excited. All right, you guys, so for this one, we are going to do an ice dye because I think that would look the best. So I have my washable marker and my kite string. And we're gonna do my y, my y pattern, which I have not done on my channel before. So I already took all the wrinkles out. I know this doesn't look like a dress, but it is. <laughs> that is what it said when I ordered it, which I ordered this off of Amazon. It's 95% cotton, 5% span spandex. So I am folding this in half and we're gonna line it up. There's a huge wrinkle right here. All right. So that is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our Y. So it doesn't have to be a perfect Y, but you'll want to do it. So if you're picturing this dress, I'm going to want it to go from probably the armpits and then come all the way down. Or you can do it lower, you can do it up here. But I'm going to start at the armpits. So I'm going to do right at underneath, sorry, right below the hem slash border, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> I cannot think right now, so excuse that. But I'm going to go right underneath here and I'm going to come out. And curve and I still want about I want a little bit of room because I want that to be kind of thick in the center so we're gonna go all the way down just like that that is your only marker line unless you want to do two because you can do that too um, but if you fold along that you're gonna get that for the rest. So when you open this up, if you do one color, you're gonna have the one color in the middle or two colors, how many ever colors you want in the center for your Y. And then on the outside, you can do whatever too. So I want it to pop really good. So for this one, 
I want to make, I actually do want to make this Y a little better. So this part is good, but I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to make like a V. Because whatever this is, I want up here too. So it actually looks like a Y. But as you fold this line, you're pretty much going to get that anyway. So this really doesn't have to be here if you don't want it there. You'll just have to, once you fold this and tie this, whatever, however thickness you want it, wherever this line is, you'll have to remember on wherever your straps are, you want like an inch or two of the same color before this line. And then you can draw, even draw a line on your folded dress. And then this will be the same color as this. So I'm going to use kite string for this one, but we're going to pleat fold this whole line right here. So let's just disregard this one. It was just an example. So I'm going to start up here and pleat fold all the way down. All right, so we got our kite string and I'm gonna hold it at the other end and then this end with your thumb, slide it under. Don't tighten it yet because if you do, your pleats are just gonna bundle up on you and then you're gonna be awfully mad because I know I would be. So I am going to do this a couple of times so I can get it tight. So my line is not perfect, but it, where I put the die, it's still, it's gonna look pretty awesome. So I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> And I have some cool colors picked out for this one so that it pops and looks really cool. Um, so I have that wrapped around quite a few times, probably like four or five. So I am going to cut that. And tie it off. And then for the rest, you can scrunch this. I am going to make sure I know that that line is what I wanted. So right here, all of these are already pretty much pleated. So right where that line is, straight across, we can 
kite string that off as well or you can use rubber bands if you want i'm only using kite string because i kind of want um i want my fabric to be a little bit tighter than rubber bands can do and that's just because i think it'll be more defined but it is going to be ice dye so that's the cool thing too is they're going to be defined because of the kite string but they're not that's not going to get lost in there if that makes sense that probably doesn't make sense but all right so cut that tie that off Okay, so right here is our Y between these two. That's going to make the V up in the neckline. And then this is going to be on the whole dress. And then the rest of this, you can do whatever you want with. Um, you can try to put a swirl in there. That would, that would be on both sides. You could scrunch it up. Um, I'm just going to scrunch it up. Um, or you can even take the pleats that are here and just pull them out and tie them that way too. And it'll kind of, it'll kind of look like your Y, but it'll be whatever colors you decide to put in there. I want the Y to be very defined. So I'm going to do the Y and then a scrunch so that it's very dominant in the dress. So I'm going to use kite string for the scrunch as well. And I'm just going to pull it all together. This is still going to have your pleats here in the design. So whatever color you put on the outside of your Y, it's going to have these, but that's going to look awesome going into your scrunch anyways. So. And we're going to tie this up nice and tight. All right, cut that, and we'll tie that one off. If I can find the other part. <laughs> Here it is. All right, and then for this loose stuff here, you can also scrunch that, um, which would go really well with the rest of your dress. Um, if you do that, uh, there's not much there, so you can kite string that if you want, but I don't think it's that necessary, so I'm actually just gonna rubber band that part. So you can do this however. I'm just gonna scrunch it up and get rubber bands on there to hold it together. All 
All right, so when we dye this, we're gonna do ice dye. So I decided that I really, really wanna use lime pop. So I'm gonna use lime pop for the Y because I really want that to be bright and stand out. And then I'm thinking lime pop with a certain kind of blue and a certain kind of purple I think would look super duper cool. So I'm gonna go heavy in the lime pop on the Y section and then when I get to the scrunch I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of room between the Y and where I put my dye for the scrunch because I really don't want them to bleed too much together because if the line pop and the blue bleed together it pretty much is going to turn the Y kind of like a lighter greener version of the blue so I don't want that so I'm thinking line pop for the Y and then blue and purple for the scrunch sections which I will probably just scatter them honestly because I think that is the coolest effect ever it'll kind of look like a marble effect and i got them tied super tight so there might be a little bit of white in them maybe not but that's where i'm saying the marble effect will come into so this is gonna look awesome so let's tie dye and put our dye on it All right, you guys, real quick, I'm just showing you. I have lime pop in the Y area. I left some white space. This is royal blue, and then royal blue and red violet are sprinkled in here, and same on this side. I did have a little tiny bit of an oopsie where the royal blue fell over because it was in a pile, but that is okay, no big deal. Um, so these two are the scrunches. This is definitely going to be bleeding together. So the lime pop and the royal blue will probably combine in here, which is totally fine with me. But I think this is going to look really cool. I did try to keep the red violet away from the lime pop because that tends to make brown. So I just use this little tiny bit of cute scrapbook paper for a, like a divider. Um, now all we have to do now is throw the ice on. We're gonna let it sit for 24 hours. And then when we rinse it, we're gonna rinse in cold water and do it until the water runs clear. And then once you reveal it, um, hopefully you're revealing with me, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, and Right after we reveal this, we're going to wash it by itself um, with Synthropol and it's hot water washes with cold rinses. If you even have that option on your washer, I know um, washers are all different. Um, mine does have that option. So that is what I do. And then I also hang dry my stuff. I don't ever put them in the dryer. I feel like, um, I get nervous that it'll get ruined somehow, but I was always told never use fabric softener on this kind of stuff. So um, I don't know if anybody else has ever had a problem with it, um, but I like to play it safe sometimes. Sometimes I don't. So um, we're going to throw the ice on and then make sure you let it sit for 24 hours.
All right, so we have a reveal and my kite string's already falling off because I was rinsing this and squeezing it really good. So this sat for 24 hours and it already looks super awesome. I use Lime Pop, Red Violet, and Royal Blue. All right, so this is the tank dress. This was a winner of our comment shout out, Gwen Way. So congratulations. I hope this is what you were expecting. I hope this helps you come up with a really good idea for your own. <clears throat> so let me show you how this looks like inside. That looks super cool. So we're gonna open this bad boy up so you can see it all the way open. Ooh, that turned out really good. So it's line pop all the way down the center and then royal blue and purple scrunch everywhere else. So the back looks the same. So it kind of looks like a really cool spine, but I'm telling you this guy has the marble effect and the camera is not doing it any justice. So take it from the thumbnail, I guess, because this looks super awesome. I'm super happy with this. Gwen Wei, I hope this helped you some a little bit. And congratulations. Now for this one next week, you have time to enter for the comment shout out. You can comment anything that you want to see me tie-dye on anything that you want. Um, we randomly pick a winner. Um, so we'll pick not next week, the week after. So that you have time. So once you see this video and you want to do it, comment in any of my videos what you want to see and we'll pick a winner. And you will get your name shouted out and we will do said video for you and everyone else that wants to watch and if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button you're not going to want to miss our videos turn that notification bell to all because you will be notified every single time we upload which is great for you because then you can make cool stuff like this tank dress thank you for watching